information from a higher perspective. Views and information. Your host, Harry Wilkinson. Your host, Harry Wilkinson. Yes, welcome to the Spirit and Wellness Show. My name is Harry Wilkinson, and I will be your host for this show, which uh, takes a look at the days and weeks events, happenings in the world, happenings in politics, internationally, in technology, in uh, business, media, everything that uh, we uh, interact with throughout our day and our week, the stories we hear about from the various media, whether it be the new media, uh, whether it be social media, whether it be the 24-hour news networks are just um, the old uh, radio in your car as you're going to work. Uh, we are exposed to an awful lot of information, and it can sometimes be overwhelming. And I have felt the need, and I know others have felt the need, to have a technique, a way of dealing with uh, this, because it often feels like you're, you are in a somewhat toxic environment and when you're in a toxic environment you need something to bolster your immune system to help you fight off or protect yourself from uh, the toxicity <coughs> that you might be interacting with uh, so um, in taking this step back that I talk about we look at these stories we look at these happenings from a higher perspective from a metaphysical perspective and that's my point of view the metaphysical perspective is uh, the idea that we exist on several levels we are not our bodies and that we are at the highest level of our being uh, experiencing oneness and that we are creating all of these uh, experiences that we have or hear about from that highest level and that we uh, create these so that we can have these experiences and use them to reconnect to our oneness So in going into perhaps a news story that bothers you or thinking about a, a situation that is problematic, you go into the feelings that it brings up. You go into what, it, what you're feeling rather than trying to turn it off or disconnect from it. Go into it, feel it, and then recognize it for what it is. Recognize the truth of it. That it is but an illusion. And an illusion that on some level, you have created. Not the small you, but the big you. That is also connected to, to a lot of other big yous. Uh, in what I call sort of divine mind. But that this is a creation, an illusion, a hologram, if you will, uh, cleverly and very uh, adeptly put together with uh, fine attention to detail uh, that really feels very real. And it's something that uh, you are, are creating for yourself to have experiences with, to experience feelings of loss or feelings of winning, feelings of sadness or feelings of, of, of great happiness, uh, feelings of loss, feelings of uh, excitement, all of these uh, emotions that we often get triggered uh, through whatever is happening or appears to be happening in the outer. 
And once you go into these situations and recognize them, you can take the energy from them. If there are situations that are bringing you happiness, uh, then you can give thanks for them. If they are situations that are causing you uh, a level of distress, then you can take the energy from them and recognize them for what they are. And just that act alone will more than likely change the situation. But you don't go in with an idea of changing the situation. That's the trick. <laughs> That's the trick. You go in with mindfulness to just experience it for what it is and recognize the truth of it, that it's a creation, that it's an illusion. And to actually even marvel at the detail and the strength of this illusion. And by doing that and taking that energy back, you um, regain your uh, mastery of it. You empower yourself. And then you continue on. It's a, it's a trick, but it's not a trick. It's a technique, I would say. Uh, and meditation is uh, a very big part of it. So learning how to do that and, and uh, allow those feelings to come up and then fade away. Uh, it's similar to um, the meditative techniques used in, in, in Buddhism uh, and uh, ancient meditation techniques. And it has more than one uh, benefit uh, health-wise, certainly your mental health your emotional health, but also your physical health. Because when you feel distressed, even a little, and anything could trigger it, it could be a story you heard on the news or uh, thinking about uh, a situation that bothers you, but when you are triggered into distress, your body goes into a, a fight or flight response. And when you are in that kind of uh, distress, uh, your body shuts down a bit. Your immune system gears up for a fight, which means that it has to put all of its energy into battle mode, if you will. And so cannot be as effective. When you flip the script and you go into relaxation mode, which is what meditation helps you do and, and what this technique uh, that I'm talking about helps you do. That strengthens the immune system because you, when your body relaxes, your uh, natural uh, ability to be well, if you will, uh, takes over. All of the things that you need, that shot of uh, dopamine um, that you need to feel better, um, uh, to lift your mood, all of that is all naturally done through the relaxation response. And that's what meditation does. And we've talked about that many times on this show. We'll certainly return to that topic. Uh, as I know many people who have uh, told me they're listening to the show and have listened to the show in the past are trying to build a meditation practice and so uh, I like to help and support that through this show as much as possible. Uh, but today, uh, since this, uh, for some of us, for some people, it's a rather dubious holiday that's coming up. Uh, the, the holiday of Thanksgiving. And the reason I say that it's dubious <coughs> is because of the mythology around it, particularly um, the story of uh, the Native Americans and the pilgrims, most of which uh, you know, is not true. <laughs> um, 
for many people, it's a difficult holiday to celebrate. Uh, due, to the, due to the historical nature of of, uh, of what its significance is, uh, for other people, you know, the significance is uh, the focus is on family and, and gatherings. But uh, traditionally, um, you know, Thanksgivings are, are um, times when the family does get together. But uh, oftentimes, it's not an enjoyable experience for many people. Uh, but it's one they feel they have to do, or they're obligated to do for a variety of reasons. And there are many people, a growing number of people, by the way, who are opting out of uh, celebrating Thanksgiving in that way. Um, and there are others that are trying to educate, particularly children, to help them understand uh, what the truth of this holiday is. And uh, what uh, to, to sort of steer them away from some of the stereotypes that have been perpetrated uh, over the years. So today we're going to talk about uh, the concept of Thanksgiving and gratitude. Um, this holiday really in the, in. It's unique to the United States. It's a uniquely American uh, holiday in that um, no one else in the world really celebrates it. Um, and it really was initiated in uh, the 19th century. Um, in based on this story that had been, well, more than forgotten uh, about these pilgrims that came to America and they had this uh, terrible, terrible winter where many people died and they struggled and built this community and built this town. And then there were friendly Indians there that helped them to learn to grow crops and they invited those Indians uh, to uh, partake in the food that they had harvested that year, and that was the first Thanksgiving. Now, most of this is um, bogus, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there's so much to talk about in this, but uh, one thing that we can talk about is the fact that this concept of a of a of a celebration, a thankfulness for food and harvest, is part of Native American tradition for centuries. Feast days, as they've been come to be known, uh, in some uh, tribes, it's also known as potlatch, the potlatch ceremony. Uh, these are ceremonies of, of giving thanks for uh, everything that uh, is around you, particularly uh, the crops and the game that you've hunted and all of the, uh, just basically everything <laughs> around them. Uh, Thanksgiving is an ancient concept among Native American nations. Uh, the potlatch ceremony is, is one of them. Uh, Potlatch is a ceremony in which um, the tribes that, or the, the people of the tribe that had the most to give, uh, would uh, give everything that they had to others in the tribe who may or may not have had uh, as good a, uh, a year, if you will. The idea behind it was not uh, so much uh, charity as um, a sign of...